Not sure if those were rooms. Anywhere else, a fish processing plant would be no big deal. But that's Bayou's River Gold. Can I get you anything? Hello. I'm sorry if I sound rude, but would you mind coming back later? We're actually closed right now. I just forget to pull down the shutters. Afraid so, but I don't really want to talk about it right now. Perhaps another time when I'm feeling up to it. I'm afraid not, but come back tomorrow and perhaps I'll be strong enough to speak to you. Right now, I just. I can't. Hello. Oh, there you are. I'm feeling a bit better today. Sorry about all that before. The thing is, well, I lost my husband Thomas last week. He... he supposedly had a heart attack and fell from the upper platform. Of course, that's the official word from Neon Security. I'm not so sure they're telling me the truth. No, they certainly aren't. How that security officer could stand there and tell me Thomas died of a heart attack. Well, it's a damn lie is what it is. I, I'm, I'm sorry, this is my problem. You're just here to shop, and here I am, filling your head with my conspiracy theories. Please forgive me. Oh my. 
You're the first person in this awful, awful city that's reached out to help me. Thank you. The truth is all I've ever wanted. I suppose the proper place to start would be with Neon Security's witness, Tevin Anastas, that pompous ass over at the Emporium in Neon. Just please be very careful. I don't want to end up with two murders on my conscience. Everyone has problems with Neon Security. They're terribly corrupt with Administrator Bayou using them as his own personal brute squad. They come in here from time to time, but apart from being forced to give them employee discounts, I've never had anything suspicious happen. It was nice speaking to you. Are you sure you're in the right place? You certainly don't look like one of her usual clientele. Hey, you're the one that told me she has expensive tastes. <laughs> there's expensive. <laughs> there's the Emporium. I take it from your tone I've made an error in judgment. Please forgive my disrespect. We have quite a few, well, shall we say, Thugs that find their way into my establishment and create a disturbance. In fact, there's a particular Seoka member who calls himself Headlock, who repeatedly torments me by damaging my goons. You mean kill him? Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't know how. I've never been terribly good at that sort of thing. That's a real quick way to get yourself and your family floating to... So, why did you drag me in here? You good? <sighs> Are you sorry? You're... <laughs> Please forgive my... Did you think in I fact... Inherited a fortune? This place is ah, yes, the authorities. Neon security. <laughs> <sighs> Corrupt, bumbling idiots who couldn't solve a crime if it occurred right in front of their faces. The authorities on Neon are usually worse than the crooks. Anyway, I've already taken up too much of your valuable time. Was there anything else I could help you with? I'm not telling you a thing. I've already reported what I saw to security. Stop wasting my time and leave. Your presence is bad for business. There's nothing to tell you. Get it through your skull.
Now, how did I get involved in this? Oh my god, enough! I'll tell you what I know, if it'll get you to leave. I saw it happen. Thomas was murdered and thrown into the ocean. Afterwards, I foolishly reported the incident to security. For my efforts, I was rewarded with a gun to my head and threatened with death if I didn't keep silent. No. The officer that threatened me was completely different. And the murderer wasn't wearing a uniform. I'd wager that the murdering bastard has a friend in security that's covering things up for him. It uh, was hard to hear over the commotion, but I'm sure I heard Thomas call his attacker Russell and Rusty a few times. From what I could gather, the attacker was after credits, and Thomas refused to give him any. After that, well, Thomas went for a swim. Where else would someone like him be, hmm? He stays at the sleep crates near Madame Sauvage's place. In any case, when you confront him, my name cannot be mentioned. I very much dislike sharing Thomas's briny fate. And with that, I must insist you leave me in peace. That is, of course, unless you'd like to make a hefty purchase. Buddy, why don't you throw a few credits my way, huh? Help a guy out, yeah? End up in the ocean? What the hell are you... Wait. No, no, no. He, he told me that everything was taken care of. No one would know. Listen, you gotta hear me out. I never meant to do anything. It was an accident. Why else? I needed some creds for Aurora, and everyone knows he and his wife run that shitty little shop. All they do is rip people off. He was bound to have creds. friend, an old buddy in security, but that's all you're getting from me. I, I'd rather take my chances with you than with him. I got in a fight with Thomas. I asked him for some creds, but the bastard wouldn't give me anything. Things got out of hand. He ended up falling off the upper platform. It was an accident, I swear. Then I... I called my buddy in security and told him what happened. He took care of everything after that. Shit, I know. I know. I never wanted things to end up like that. For the love of God, I didn't even get any creds off of it. Listen, I messed up. I know that. But nothing can change what's already done. Just let me go and I'll disappear forever. No one will ever see me again. No one even needs to know I'm alive. Just... Come on, just let me go.
Oh my god. You don't need to worry. No one will ever see me again. I, I swear it. for doing this and please be careful please tell me everything you know I want to hear it all I knew it I just knew that I was being fed lies nothing added up right from the start <sighs> neon security how can they sleep at night and act like my husband's life wasn't worth anything my husband's killer. Did you find him? What happened to him? Rusty. I believe he was one of the Jennerdine workers that would come around and cause trouble. Steal things, vandalize, or the like. They were a rowdy bunch. My husband usually handled the troublemakers and became well acquainted with Rusty and his so-called Friends. Vandalism and shoplifting is one thing, but murder? I just never thought things could go this far. So, what did you do with Rusty? Well, I guess I don't much care for what you did with him, as long as he paid for what he did. And about security. Did you find out which officer is behind the cover-up? It's for the best, I suppose. Going after security is suicide for us both. Knowing the truth is vindication enough. In a weird way, I'm... relieved? No, that's not the right word. I guess I'm just glad that I know the truth, even if it won't bring my husband back to me. I never would have figured out the truth without you. I have credits for you here. Oh, you're so sweet. In any case, please know how grateful I am that you helped me. You're the only person to ever show kindness to me in this city. And now that I know the truth, I can try to focus on healing. Thank you for everything, from both myself and Thomas. Okay.